doing really good. Well, good to see you. And uh, just wanted to uh, touch base, you know, with people. You know, Amendment 64, big, big deal. You know, pass. Congratulations, by the way. I know you guys have worked Thank so, you. so hard on this. And um, just wanted to touch base with you. Where are you at today? And uh, tell us a little bit about Sensible Colorado. Uh, what you guys did to to get this moving with the community and how you work with some other national organizations and why Amendment 64. Thank you and, and thanks so much for having me on. Um, you know, you know, like you said, I work with Sensible Colorado. I'm an attorney. I'm the, I'm the associate director of Sensible Colorado, and we're a nonprofit that has been educating the public here in Colorado about drug policy reform and how, and how our current system is not working and we've been working on behalf of, of medical marijuana patients you know really trying to you know make sure that people who need this um, this medicine you know really have access to it you know but for us it, it our current medical marijuana laws um, didn't solve the whole problem you know there's so many people who use medical marijuana who didn't qualify veterans with PTSD um, you know people with Tourette's and Crohn's disease and opioid dependence, the list goes on. And we kept trying to petition the health department to get them to add new conditions, and they never did. Um, you know, so, so we had this, you know, this problem where our medical marijuana law wasn't going far enough. And then there's also just this fundamental injustice that was going on here in Colorado and across the world where responsible adults are being criminalized for using a substance that is objectively less harmful than alcohol is. And, and, and so you know, with those two kind of um, competing ideals, it, it really made sense for us to move forward to to, to really end marijuana prohibition for, for adults here in Colorado, um, you know, hopefully once and for all. So, and that makes absolute sense, however, why on a local level and put up all this effort, and clearly you are working here with an organization based in Colorado, but knowing the battle ahead, and, and, and clearly that was clear the day after the election, the day of the election, that the feds um, are declaring, you know, any state going against uh, federal regulation is breaking the law, and then the governor, uh, uh, you know, basically uh, naming this the pothead, quote unquote, uh, uh, amendment by saying don't break out the Cheetos or the goldfish, and now that's the big uh, joke. What does that do to your community, the thousands and thousands of people that are relying on this? Is this uh, a pothead? It doesn't. It certainly doesn't sound like that. You were trying to service a deeper level of that medical community. Uh, what does this do to you as an organization and to the movement? Well, first, you know, you know I do think that the, gover the, the governor Hickenlooper's comments are, are quite insulting. Um, you know, to kind of be dismissive, dismissive of what 55% of, of the electorate of his state wants and, and to kind of make fun of something that's really not funny at all. Um, you know, the fact that you know, 10,000 adults each year were being arrested for, for simply just using or possessing marijuana and that the people of Colorado don't want a new approach, you know, want a substantial new approach, approach and he's, you know, making jokes about it. It's, it, it, is, it is kind of offensive, especially for someone, you know, who's made his, who's really, you know, made his fortune selling and brewing alcohol. Oh. Uh, you, know, you know, so the, the irony is definitely there. Um, but, you know, it's, you know, but it is politics, and um, you know, and he's trying to be dismissive of this measure. Um, a lot of people, you know, you know, it's easy to say, oh, well, this is illegal federally, so you know, what's the point? And um, and and really, the, you know, that ignores um, really how how our federalist government works. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our drug laws and criminal laws have been historically enforced by state governments. Um, you know, it's you know, it's the police powers of the state. You know that you know enforced alcohol prohibition that enforced all of our drug laws, and you know, in t you know, for example, in 2007, you know, there's about 850,000 marijuana arrests, mar arrests for marijuana possession for possession alone, um, across the country, and the federal government made 7,000 marijuana arrests across the country, and so they make less than one percent of the marijuana arrests, and so, you know, so what Amendment 64 does. Is it, you know, it's saying, look, as a state of, you know, here in the state of Colorado, we're not going to spend our resources enforcing this. Of course. You know, we, you know, out of all the arrests in Colorado, 99% of them are done by state officials. And so if it's not a crime under state law, then really we're stopping 99% of all marijuana arrests here in Colorado. Josh, let me Josh, ask you a question. So, so, 
in terms, in terms of, of the actual, the actual uh, federal, federal government, government involvement, involvement. You would, you would think, think that then the state, the state would have, would have to, to outreach to the federal government to get involved based on what you're talking about the history. history. So this is so really, really a state, a state law, law that should be regulated, should be regulated by, the by the state. state. The, the public, public has voted. Has voted. Uh, isn't, uh, it, isn't, isn't it that it receives more votes than the actual uh, presidential uh, vote? It, it is true. Um, it, you know, it received about 50,000 more votes um, you know, you know, than Obama received. Um, you know, which is which is significant, and and, and you know, and I guess just kind of go back on your point. Um, the, the state of Colorado doesn't need any permission from the federal government not to inf not to criminalize marijuana. Um, you know, th th there's a long history of cases. Um, you know, for example, you know the alcohol age. You know, when the federal government wants states to raise the the age of being able to drink alcohol from 18 to 21. Um, you know, they couldn't just force the states to do it. They had you know they had to bribe them. You know, they had to say, oh, you know, all right, if you guys do this, we'll, we'll give you more highway dollars. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and so there's nothing really that the federal government can do besides bribe, trying to bribe the state of Colorado um, to make Colorado enforce marijuana prohibition on their behalf. So when the governor, the governor is saying, is saying uh, you know, we're reviewing, uh, the ballot, reviewing the ballot, which you would think they would have done before it actually got on the ballot. The ballot. Um, they're um, reviewing the mission. So, so in essence, he's saying, don't break out the Cheetos or the goldfish, which is actually a, a trending quite a bit on, on the media, unfortunately. Um, what does that say to you? Is that a threat? What does that say to the people that voted this? What's next? Yeah, I mean, Politically, yeah. legally, legally, mm -hmm. what's next? What's next? I mean, you know, I think in his comments, you know, he did recognize that, that this is what the will of the people of Colorado want. I think what's next for, you know, on a political level is to figure out what the feds are, are going to do. You know, there's, you know, Amendment 64, there's two important parts. There's one part that, that I talked about that removes criminal penalties for adults privately using marijuana, for possessing an ounce of marijuana, and for cultivating an enclosed lock space six plants. That part goes into effect as soon as the election is certified. So in less than 30 days, every adult in Colorado over the age of 21 will be able to use marijuana without, being, without the fear of being arrested under state law. Now, the other part of the measure um, you know, permits the state government to license um, marijuana retail stores, to develop a set of regulations, to license retail stores. And these stores aren't slated to, go, to really be open until you know, sometime between October and January of next year. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think from the governor's perspective, he's trying to figure out, look, can we move forward with these stores? Um, you, you know, I think he says it pretty clearly, you know, can, you know, can we move forward with these stores? You know, regardless if we can move forward with these stores or not, every adult's going to be able to have marijuana, every adult's going to be able to grow marijuana. And so from our point of view, and, you know, and what I encourage everyone to get involved with is, is to make our governments effectuate the will of the people and say, you know, you know, look, you can have retail stores, we can do this responsibly, we can regulate this, and if you don't want to do that, then people are going to grow marijuana all over the state, or you know, people are still going to be funding cartels, they're going to get it from somewhere, especially now that they're allowed to possess it, and so, you know, let's be responsible and effectuate the will of the people, and I think that's what Governor Hickenlooper is trying to figure out now, but, but, but really I don't know. And I think that's really important, really important on a public, public level, level, which I haven't I really haven't read, read, read much, much, is come the certification of the election, election you, you in Colorado, Colorado can have, have an ounce, an ounce grow six grow plants, plants, and, and not have uh, not be charged. Charge. Charge. Exactly. Okay, okay so, so that's the main message. If that's your right, the minute the elections are certified, which should be when? Um, according to the, the Colorado Constitution, the elections have to be certified within 30 days. Um, my guess is it'll probably be a couple more weeks before it's certified. Usually they like to count all the ballots, you know, have that final count, so they have those final numbers that they're certifying. And so, you know, you know I think at the latest we're probably looking at, the, at 30 days. There's some rumors that, they have, that the governor has up to 60 days to do it. Um, but, you know, I expect it, you know, probably, you know, within two to four weeks the election will be certified. How about, uh, uh, I've gotten, I've gotten some, some questions, questions online, online is, uh, of where can where you can visit? visit? Well, uh, say that again? Where can where you can smoke marijuana, marijuana or consume it? Or, or, 
Yeah, and so you can't do it open, openly and publicly. Um, you know, so you know there, there is a little gray area of, of what that means, but, but what is clear is you cannot, you cannot walk down the street smoking marijuana. Got it, um, got yeah, it. you will not be able to do that. You can't you know, sit at the bus stop and smoke. You cannot do that. Um, and what you can clearly do is you, you can clearly smoke marijuana in your house. Um, you can clearly smoke it um, you know, in private property, you know, you know, probably a hotel room, you know, depending on like the hotel company, there's some like weird, um, you know, contract issues there, but you know, it's, you know, in private, you can definitely do it, you know, at your friend's house, um, on the streets, you definitely can't, and then, you know, it's, you know, you know and then I think everywhere in between is kind of a gray area mm -hmm. of, you know, is it a private club, or what about a public bar, or what if you have to buy a ticket, you know, um, you, know, you know, I think all, you know, all those are gray areas, and so I think you know, the clearest, the best course of action once this does go into effect is, is just to stay you know, inside someone's private residence you know, you know, that you know the owner of that residence. Fantastic, Fantastic. And, 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 and more than anything, I mean, you can grow, you can grow it, it, which is huge. huge. Yeah. Well, thank well, you thank so you much. So much. Uh, uh, this is great information, great information. and good luck to you. you. Um, and we would and have, we to, have say to say that. that once the Once election, election 30, 30, hopefully, hopefully not 60, 60 days, days uh, are uh, certified, certified by you, indeed can break out the tomatoes. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And, 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 and ultimately, you know, the ball's in their court now. It's, you right. know, are we going to are we gonna create a, a responsible industry or are you, or are you guys going to fight the will of the voters? And, 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 and when you look at the election results county by county, I think a lot of local governments here in Colorado are going to be surprised that, you know, the majority of, of their constituents do support a responsible, regulated, tax and controlled marijuana industry you know, that raises money you know, for our governments and, and for the common good of us all. Well, great well, work, great Josh, work, Josh, and thank, and you, thank you to everyone, everyone, to you and everyone, everyone at Senate Colorado. Colorado. And, and if you have if you one have last word for your supporters out there, is there anything else, else that, that they need they to do, do for, you, for you? For the cause. Yeah, you know. You know, definitely feel free to check out our website, Sensible Colorado. You know, you know, and sign up to help. I think the most important thing you can do is is to continue to stay involved. You know, in in the government, in politics, meet with your legislatures. You know, be respectful, be responsible. You know, and and and, and you know, this is an on, you know, this is just the beginning of an ongoing, you know, an ongoing uh, fight really to to finally bring just marijuana laws to our whole country and. And, you know, and to really you know stop the criminalization of, of responsible adults for for using a substance far less safer than or far less harmful than alcohol. Well, thank well, you, thank Josh. Good luck, Good luck with everything, everything. and you're making, you're making history. history. You should be you proud, should of, be proud yourself. of yourself. And, and uh, we're, uh, we're all, all supportive of your endeavors. endeavors. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Thank you very much for having me on. Talk soon. Talk soon.